And now, your first alert five weather. Here's a live look from our SkyCam network out in La Junta, looking to the northeast, and this is a rogue thunderstorm here just east of Eads, and we have another one just to the north there, but you can see everywhere else, it's lots of blue sky, so this is where Mother Nature kind of found, found a crack in the atmosphere just to pop up one little lone cell out there. Temperature, 94 degrees. It's a hot one out there in La Junta, and it's only going to get hotter tomorrow as we before the cold front gets here. A live look on Canyon City. This is looking west into the mountains, and this is what's left of a rain shower that's moving out of the picture here down into the southern Sangres at this hour. Rain cooling some parts of that area. Temperature though hasn't been had any effect in Canyon City where you're now sitting at 90 degrees at this hour. And you can see that cooler spot here in Westcliff from that light rain shower. <clears throat> excuse me, at 67 degrees. Everywhere else, lots of sunshine, as I mentioned, mid to upper 90s in some spots. We're starting to fall off into some of the lower 90s on the eastern plains now that we're starting to lose some of the daytime heating. What's in control of the atmosphere right now, at least temporarily, is still this area of high pressure in the desert southwest. We have a northwest flow on top of it, and it's been giving us these little areas of disturbances, on again, off again chances for rain showers. Yesterday we had a high one, today we have a low one, which is why we only have one or two individual cells out there from this mini area of high pressure. All of this will start to fade here in the next 24 hours. We're turning our attention up to the north where we have a cold front that's poised to make its way down the central plains and line itself right up against the front range of the Rockies here. So over the next 24 hours, this is what's going to happen here. This cold front slides in. Very strong thunderstorms are set to develop here in the central plains, and they're going to trail off down into eastern Colorado. And when we take a look at this threat for severe weather tomorrow afternoon, an enhanced risk for south central Nebraska and northwestern Kansas, and it's just touching the eastern, the extreme eastern part of Colorado. Colorado, we are still going to be in a slight risk for severe weather. And yes, today, tomorrow is the 4th of July, so this will impact your plans. Let's go through this hour by hour. For tonight, these clouds will start to dissipate. We'll be left with partly cloudy skies and a mild evening during the overnight hours. Lots of sunshine and hot weather tomorrow, at least for the first half of the day. Then the thunderstorms start to erupt right around the lunchtime hour. But before that happens, just look at some of these warmer temperatures. 99 for La Junta, 97 for Lamar. So about five degrees warmer tomorrow than what you sat today. But you see this kind of cooler shade here. This is actually the effect of the cloud cover from those thunderstorms, and they're going to be strong stronger up north than they will be down south. Pinning this out hour by hour here. The first chance we get for a nice thunderstorm over the Palmer Divide right around 12, 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Then it lines up along I-25 and this line of showers and storms moves out on the eastern plains. Stronger as we head towards the far eastern side, all the way out towards the Kansas border. We're going to keep that chance of showers and thunderstorms into the forecast even around 9 p.m. tomorrow night, which is where a lot of the firework activities are going to start taking place here in the Pikes Peak region. Mostly cloudy tomorrow night and especially as you wake up towards on Wednesday morning, but cooler temperatures and if we can get enough sunshine in here, we're going to reignite the atmosphere once again with round two of those thunderstorms. Forecast details look like this 88 for tomorrow on Tuesday. It's going to be a hot one. Then the thunderstorms roll in. We're going to keep that chance in there throughout the daytime. The temperatures will start to fall off though, but unfortunately it will have an impact on your 4th of July plans. Wednesday, it'll be about 15 to 20 degrees cooler around the area, depending on where you're located. I mean, look at Pueblo, only a high of around 78, 79 degrees possible on Wednesday as we're going to be socked in with clouds early Wednesday morning. If we can get enough sunshine in the afternoon, that'll reignite some very strong thunderstorms possible in the afternoon, keeping that chances for showers and storms in the forecast for Thursday and Friday, clearing out on Saturday.